Hello, Madison Square Garden! I'm here at the Trump rally at Madison Square Garden, not to find people with the most extreme views, but to find what might attract New Yorkers to Trump. Everyone loves Trump. Trump 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 is a racist. I'm making up for yeah. Trump is the only solution. He's going to save America. He's going to make America great again. Legalize weed. Make every weed legal to smoke. No, le- no reason to put anybody in jail for weed. What the hell is this? Make America fucking great again. Well, let's fuck up a J. Can we spark up a J on it? Sure. Right, that's that enough of this bullshit. We were trying to have a decent conversation. We started with the economy. America first. If you're not America Fine. first, then leave America. I'm, I'm America first too, but I, I understand. So America first. I don't think any war will end. We're going to keep on sending money to, to different countries. Ukraine's going to get another $100 billion. We're never going to end the war. The other country that's getting a lot of money and aid is, is Israel. How does Israel fit into America first? Israel, I, I fully agree. In my personal opinion, I'm Jewish. I am Jewish. So obviously I have a, uh, an uh, alliance with Israel. My parents are from Israel. I love Israel, right? If, if this country needed the money more, right, I think we should 100% support this country. If we didn't hand over $280 billion to Ukraine, then nobody would be complaining about $10 billion. They're just making a little contrast. We've been, we've, been in, uh, we've been in alliance with Israel, tight alliance with Israel, for years and years and years on end. $10 billion to Israel, okay. I agree that if we need that money for our country, 100% our country first. You send it to our country before you send it to Israel, before you send it to Ukraine, and that's coming from a Jew. It doesn't have to be one or the other. I'm yeah, Jewish too. Just, We're talking about supporting America. Israel. We can support Israel as we've been doing, I agree with you. America should be police chief of the world, that's all. The police chief of the world, world yeah. gotcha. Well, uh, where, where are you from? We're from wall to wall Trump country, that's in Brooklyn, that's all the Orthodox Jewish communities. We're all voting 100% for Trump. Why specifically do you think Trump is going to be better for Israel and the Jewish community than Kamala or anyone else? Trump has been the best president since George Washington, especially for the Jewish people and Israel. Everything that Biden did was to destroy the Jewish people. What do you think should be done about Palestine, Gaza, Israel? And what are you afraid that Kamala might do as opposed to Trump? Well, Kamala, first of all, would hold back weapons. And she just wants ceasefire. And that means that Hamas will just rebuild itself. And maybe in three, four, five years, there'll be another massacre similar to the Holocaust. What do you think should happen? They should have never given any food, any medicine, any electric, any gas, any fuel to uh, Gaza. And that would, ha- that would cause all the Gazans to attack Hamas and let them fight each other out. I believe that's a violation of international law. How would you respond to that? International law. But when it comes to killing Jews and raping the Jewish women and putting babies in ovens, that's okay in international law. The UN says, okay, we didn't see it. Like a lot of the professors in Columbia, NYU, and all around the world who believe in evolution, but they say, no, October 7th never happened. They'll tell you what happened a billion years ago in their, in their weird minds. But what happened in October 7th, they'll say the Israelis did it. It never happened. J- Jews were not killed. You're a Palestinian for Trump. Why is Trump better for Palestine than, say, anyone? because he was the only one to come out and say that he wants to bridge the gap instead of talking about one side. When he spoke in APAC against Hillary, Hillary was talking about Palestinian terrorists this, Palestinian terrorists that. But he focused on bridging the gap between the Palestinians and the Israelis, and that resonated. Do you think there's a lot of Palestinians for Trump? Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Many. The older generation are for Trump. The younger generation, well, therefore, whatever the social media tells them. Okay, you think they're brainwashed? Absolutely. And you, you mentioned evolution. Are you not big on evolution? Absolutely not. The world is 5,785 years old. Anybody who thinks different is a fool. No, there's no animals becoming people. A lion gives birth to a lion. A bear gives birth to a bear. Nothing is changing. So it's all nonsense. Just like they have global warming and all that stupidity, and spending billions of dollars for nothing instead of fixing our streets and our highways and having people have enough food and prices should go down. I actually voted for uh, Biden originally and she doesn't let me down on it. I made a big mistake. He didn't focus on his country, he focused focused too much on war. 
Yeah. And, you know, and, and constantly dishing out our hard-earned money to supply Ukraine, supply, I'm going to say it, Israel, supplying all these people instead of bridging the gap. You, should, you know, Trump wants to bridge the gap between the Israelis and the Palestinians. I like that. Are you hoping that he'll tr try to stifle funds and weapons to Israel? Or no, what, he's, he's, no, he won't. A lot of the protests I've seen or filmed, it's mostly leftists out for Palestine. How, how do you feel about that? Do you think they're misguided or? Listen, Pal Palestine can get, Palestine welcomes any support we can get. You know, I support any, I mean, I support any group that wants to support us. I'm, I'm all for it. The border crisis, illegals swarming our streets. Where are you from? Originally? I'm from here. I'm from born and raised in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. I'm from Uzbekistan. Having 21 illegal, 21 illegal immigrants coming down the south, they're oversaturating our jobs. We're running out of jobs for our Americans. We're going to have the highest unemployment rate. Inflation's back up. Millions and millions of people, illegal people. Everybody is uh, just coming to America. You don't know their background, whether they are criminal. The, the whole immigration policy is nonsense. That's not a racist thing. I That's think an it anti is. anti immigration stance. Everyone's. Are you. Are you. I are think you for he's also against immigration. I, he's for legal immigration. He's for legal. Are you, are you for illegal immigration? Do you want people to come into our country illegally? That's what? a silly argument. Nobody's for illegal immigration. Uh, Kamala Harris is. No, she's not. And how did 21 million get through the border? 20 million people. Do you think people weren't getting through the border under not Trump? Not less. Oh, come on. There's a, there's a graph. The I've seen the graph. Yeah. It's much less. It's, the spike is crazy, man. We have 20 million illegals, like the borders are just straight up open. A lot of criminals coming in, that's a fact. They're emptying their prisons in like Latin American countries. And that, that's just a border, bro. We want to win our country, but we also want to win New York and make it safe. Do you feel safe in the city? I always feel safe in the city. I'm from Brooklyn. Man. No place is safe. Where the funny part is, it is very safe where Jewish communities are. It was never as safe as it is today. Absolutely. Uh, this, is my, this is my neighborhood. I would never feel unsafe in New York, but I've seen much more like news stories and it's, like graphs of spiking crime in New York. Me personally, I don't know. Maybe it's the way I can. I don't, that doesn't have it in me. Well, you're, you're, you're from Crown <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. Right? No, no, I, I'm sorry. I feel safe. Crimes have increased. Hatred has increased. But uh, he, the question is, do we feel safe? I feel 100% safe. safe. I'm, what, I'm new to here, so... <laughs> what, what, what would you say to people who say they, they don't want to travel into the city because it's unsafe? They're not from New York. Come to New York. Everyone loves New York, bro. New York's the best fucking city in the entire world, bro. The media is about making money, all right? And to scare people. Like, oh, this happened, this happened. What about the good things that happened here? I can't here? believe what can't, everyone says what, and, what, and what you see on TV. Doesn't matter what's happening in the world, yeah, New York will always be the best fucking city. New York's city. great. I love my city. Come on.